Let me just go right into the message. The kingdom of God will not come until it is commanded to come on earth. God has given that kind of authority to us. Amen? I'm going to say that again. The kingdom of God will not come until it is commanded to come onto the earth. God has given us that kind of authority. Amen. I know that sometimes it doesn't seem like we have that authority because we, we cry out to God and say, Lord, I'm going through this or I need this or whatever's happening in my life is not manifesting. But we're to continue to command it into the natural. Remember I said bringing the supernatural into the natural realm. Amen. And I was watching my video. Amen. Now, this simple prayer that Jesus gave, we've been talking about prayer. Amen. Which we all need. Amen. Because we're going to go through stuff. I'm going through stuff. You're going through stuff. Right? Amen. Amen. But it's prayer that gives us hope. That gives us peace. But also it raises our faith. Amen. And God knows that I pray. <laughs> and God knows Amen. that I need faith just to go on one day at a time. Amen. Amen. Now, the simple prayer that Jesus had gave to his disciples is built, is built on understanding of the authority, amen, understanding of the authority that God has given to Adam and then Eve. He didn't give them some authority, you remember that, right, to them, but then he held back a little bit of himself, amen? And Jesus didn't win back just some authority of our authority, but he is completely doing his work in our lives. Amen? I'm going to read a lot this morning because there's a lot I want to share. Amen? Now, this awesome prayer is part of prayer. Remember I talked about last week that God even taught them how to pray. And the disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach me how to pray. Because sometimes we've got to know how to pray. Right? And we talked about your kingdom come. Your will be done. What? On heaven as it is here on earth. So we're asking God to bring the kingdom of God into this place. Amen? Amen. Now, the awesome part of prayer Jesus gave us is your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. What is God's right will in heaven? What is his will on earth? What is God's will in heaven and on earth? Amen? Amen? Now, he knows that in heaven there's only one will. That is what? God's will. Amen? I'm going to say that again. In heaven there's only one will. God's will. Whatever he says is done. Whatever he tells you to do, you do. That's his will. Amen? Amen. Now, Will is done joyfully and automatically in heaven. There is no discussion. Just say yes, amen, and to the will of God. Amen. Just say yes and amen to the will of God. Amen. That's, what it's, that's how it's going to be in heaven. When God says something, that's it. There's no debating it. There's no discussion. You say, God, you told me to do this, I'm going to do this. Amen? Amen? Even though it costs you something. Remember I said when God asks us to do something, I don't know why. He, he orchestrated that way. Even the disciples from the past go through stuff. I'm going through stuff. And he told me, do this. Do Love Wings Ministry. I'm going through a lot of stuff because of Love Wings Ministry. I'll be honest with you. And I was watching my video. Because it always causes you something that God wants you to do. We don't understand why sometimes the Bible says that his way is not our ways. Our understanding, right? But there's a reason. We don't see it right away, but down the road we will. Amen? Now, if I need to start love wing, none of y'all would have been here. It, it, That's the truth. It, 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 Amen. In the natural realm, that is the truth. If I, if God didn't speak into my life, none of us would be sitting in here right now. That video camera wouldn't be on, and those that we touch. Let me share this quick.